Selena Kyle was a shocking, fun addition to the Gotham lineup early on. I won't lie, initially I thought her inclusion would make me go, oh no, this show won't make five episodes if you're taking one of the sexiest women in comic history and making her a child. But right off the bat, within the first few episodes, I realized she was a great addition. So let's go over my top five Catwoman moments from season one. Number five is the fact that she was there when Bruce's parents were shot. Now this is a major retcon to the overall plot of Bruce and Gotham, and one of the first that I was like, oh hell no, you can't do that. But after the second episode played out and we saw her come forward to Jim Gordon, I started to get behind the idea. You see, this could have been an annoying thing in which she came out at the end of the season, but they showed her courage right away and they brought her into the main cast and didn't reserve her to be a background player. Number four was within the same episode because it showed how capable she was at such a young age. In the second episode, the same one where Jim Gordon and her were chatting and she revealed her revelation, she was also out running the doll makers group from kidnapping children on the streets. She then took it upon herself to get Jim involved and try to save all of the other children. It plays off of the concepts of the Catwoman that we all know really early on. The one that is technically a criminal, but she won't stand by while things go down on her streets. Number three is when the assassins invaded the Wayne home in episode 10. Bruce is still a young boy without any real training, so it takes Selina to show him a way to escape and then where they can hide. And what it really shows is just how awesome Selina can be. Number two is the first kiss. Now we all know that Batman and Catwoman have a back and forth relationship. They kiss, they hate, they fight. Well, we got to see the first kiss in episode 11 when Selina goes back to Wayne Manor after the assassins have left. We get to have an awkward exchange between Selina and Bruce, the kind kids who like each other would have, and then she shows him one of the things that she stole from him. And then he walks over to see what it was, she gives him a quick kiss that is quickly interrupted by Alfred. And number one is Selina's softer side. When Alfred got stabbed by his old war buddy in the 17th episode Red Hood, he ended up in the hospital, and Bruce was by his bedside refusing to leave and fully distraught. Selina took time away from whatever she was doing to come over to Alfred's bed, just to hug and comfort Bruce. And that's all we need, Catwoman and Batman being a couple. So those are my top five moments for Catwoman from season one. Now, Gotham has already restarted, and so far I know it's getting mixed reviews, but I liked the first episode. Let me know in the comments down below other top fives you want to see us do. Anything from any TV show to any anime, let us know. And I'm Benny for CTV, I'll catch you guys next time right here.